Assalamu alaikum. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ahmed Swafi from Lighthouse Arabic Academy, Arabic in a minute. A new video, a new lesson, 2022. So, uh, new lessons in this year, and let's get started. First expression that we are going to study today is Lahza min fadlak. One moment, please. So, you can actually say that to uh, to someone asking him to wait for you one moment or even uh, just to pay attention if he or she doesn't. So you can say lahza wahda min fadlak or just lahza only you can just say lahza because lahza means a moment and one means one so it's like one moment please but people actually just can say lahza min fadlak without wahda so you just say lahza min fadlak. To a man that's uh, how we say it, lahza min fadlak to a woman, lahza min fadlik. So lahza min fadlik. We are just only change uh, this suffix in ak and ik in min fadlak to to become min fadlik. But lahza it doesn't change. So um, you can also use if you asking someone uh, to talk to him or to her in private, like please can I just talk to you? So, or just also, as I said, you can uh, even, you know, someone doesn't pay attention, you just need someone, need help, you can also use it. So, uh, second expression, and we are actually use and most of the time, it just means sorry, and also uh, you can use in a different context, in different situations, like malish, 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 which also it's a word, you can you know, you can say as if, if you are a man speaking, a woman speaking, a female speaking should say asfa, asfa. So either you are apologizing to someone or you even just don't hear what he or she is saying to you. So, malish e, which means what, sorry, what. So you can actually use uh, this, this word means sorry or I'm sorry, because we actually don't say I am sorry. Anna Asfa or Anna as we just say sorry. Okay, so next expression, uh, very very important. We use ulteni, say again, ulteni, say it again, uh, or aiteni, which also means repeat it again. So ulteni, say it again, repeat again, aiteni. Uh, so aiteni, repeat again. Okay, um, next expression is. Ana mish batkallam Arabi, which most of my students always, um, you know, when, when they start to talk to our uh, friends or, you know, uh, our, our people, they just start to get a lot of expressions, a lot of words, people start to talk to them, but they don't know what they are saying. So you can say, Ana batkallam Arabi shwaya. I can speak Arabic a little bit. So that means, like, you know, just like you know uh, try to speak slowly maybe so I can understand you or try to you know to explain even more or better okay so Anna but Kalim Arabi Shway or if you don't speak Arabic at all you can just say Anna Mish but Kalim Arabi or you can also say I speak a different language like Anna but Kalim Inglisi I speak English okay or I speak Spanish and I bet Kalim Aspani. Okay, so this is also very, very important. So when you introduce yourself to someone, you're actually saying, um, you start with, my name is, and then what's your name? Which is a very friendly way how to introduce yourself in Arabic language. Uh, this is how we start to introduce ourselves. We ask for names first, and then we start to uh, introduce ourselves so or we start to talk about ourselves like our name is or are you know my name is Ahmed and what's your name so ismi Ahmed ismak e if I'm talking to a man and ismik e if you're talking to a woman so it's so easy it's so simple not too complicated um Forza Saida nice to meet you Forza Saida responding to Forza Saida will be also for society. You can also use um, other ways, like you can say Tasharafna or Tasharaft. 
both um, means I'm honored to meet you or to see you. So Tasharaft or Tasharafna. Um, male or female speaking, we don't change. It will be the same. Okay? You can add the end, say before ma salama, ma salama or salam, which means goodbye. Both means goodbye. Um, ma salama or salam. You can also say something before that, which is khali balak, uh, which means take care of yourself. Khali balak. It's a very nice uh, expression. Uh, we say when we are when you say to someone, "Hey, take care of yourself before going or leaving," uh, or you even you can say if you want someone to watch out, just something. It's like you know, crossing the road or crossing, and the street is um, you know has scars around. So please watch out. Okay, if something is happening, so watch out. To a woman, خلي بالك. To a man, خلي بالك. To a woman, خلي بالك. Don't forget to study these expressions and also to smash the hit subscribe button and smash all the buttons on the screen. YouTube.com uh, slash connect Arabic and also Facebook.com slash Ahmed Swifi official and Facebook.com slash connect Arabic and also we have our Instagrams um, Ahmed El Swafi underscore official or Ahmed underscore El Swafi. Wherever you find me, just go and um, also join our this uh, wonderful year uh, Arabic courses. Uh, we are having many wonderful upcoming workshops and classes. I hope to see you there. And that was Ahmed Swafi. See you in the next class in a new lesson. Bye bye.